Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. Um, if you're a returning vi a visitor here and you would like to support this channel, please consider subscribing. And when you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. So, well... Let's get into today's video. So, the Washington Commanders, let me just not sugarcoat this whatsoever. Uh, they are a horrible team right now. Um, they're a horrible team on offense. Um, and this really lies solely on the shoulders of the coaches, the quarterback, the offensive line is horrible. We've got some top-notch talent at wide receiver. We got some good running backs in the backfield, but Carson Wentz, let's just say it like it is, he is not the answer. And let's just go ahead and say it like it is, Scott Turner is not the answer at offensive coordinator. His play calling I thought was horrible. Um, maybe if you pair him with a great offensive line, but then again, you could probably pair anybody with a great offensive line. And if they're getting big, you know, rushing lanes, uh, created for the running back and they're getting all time in the world for the quarterback to, to throw, then yeah, you can make anybody look good. Uh, but the the case uh, of the matter is that our offensive line is terrible. Um, we just don't have the talent on the offensive line, and it's showing right now. Our talent is horrible. We did not do anything whatsoever to upgrade our offensive line. You could say, well, we got Norwell. Yeah, he is very much a step down from uh, Sheriff, from Brandon Sheriff. Trey Turner got pulled for being in, you know, just ineffective. So that's why you saw uh, um, uh, Charles in there. Um, but let's let's get into let's get into the stats. Carson Wentz, twenty five for forty two, hundred and seventy yards. Uh, he had took two sacks for. A loss of 15 yards. Quarterback rating of 56.7. He had one touchdown. He had two picks. Uh, Antonio Gibson had a decent day. Um, you know, 13 carries, uh, 49 yards. Uh, Jonathan Williams did really well. Uh, five carries for 48 yards. Uh, J.D. McKissick uh, had eight carries for 40 yards. So we had a, a pretty decent running game. Uh, John Dotson got hurt. He was um, uh, got taken out of the ball game due to um, an injury with his uh, uh, hamstring, uh, but he had three catches for 43 yards and that one touchdown. Uh, Curtis Samuel had four catches for 38 yards. John Bates four catches. Logan Thomas five catches. Uh, both tight ends had 19 yards. Um, Terry McLaurin only had two catches today. Um, they held him quite a bit, uh, but you know, I mean, what, what can you say? You, you play in Dallas, you're not going to get the calls your way. Um, that being said, that wasn't, you know, this game wasn't won or lost because of the, the officiating, even though the officiating was, was terrible. Um, no, th this game was lost, uh, because of really poor, um, offense, you know, the defense did what they could, but you're you're just not going to hold the other offense very long. Eventually, when, you're, when your team's offense doesn't help you out one bit, then it's just going to, you know, eventually your, your defense is going to uh, have a miscommunication. Something's going to happen. And, yeah, that, that's the story of every single game. Um, you know, I, I thought that William Jackson III had that one really good pass block up. Um, 
but then he made up for it by having a boneheaded um, pass interference call that he didn't need to commit. Um, and then, of course, he got juked quite a bit by uh, C.D. Lamb. Lamb was wide open in the end zone for a touchdown. Again, horrible pickup by us with William Jackson the third, just terrible. Uh, secondary continues uh, to frustrate me. Um, you know, when they had some interceptions, both interceptions got called back because of um, penalties. And then, of course, penalties weren't called on the Dallas's uh, side, but, you know, whatever. Um, still, um, yeah, secondary's a liability. Offensive line is a liability. Carson Wentz is a liability. Um, this team is 1-3, and, and they're 0-2 in the uh, division. And I said this in my last video, uh, for a lot of you who chose not to watch the video, that um, if this team loses this game, they're sunk. You can't be 0-2 in this division and expect to claw yourself out. Not how this team is playing. Um, they're 1-3 overall. So your first quarter of the season, you're, you're one and three. You had to come back to beat a Jacksonville Jaguar team. Um, this team is falling apart at the seams. You know, we're seeing poor game management from Ron Rivera. We're seeing horrible play calling by Scott Turner. And I don't care what anybody says, the, the play calling was horrible again today. At least they did do a little bit of what I was thinking before, which was try to control, you know, the clock, try to control the the ball, uh, you know, run the ball more, uh, have some shorter passes, and they did try to do that. Um, but when you get yourself behind so quickly, it's kind of hard to to stick with it. Even though, uh, you know, the Commanders were not down by a whole lot. I mean, they were in this game the entire time. Um, but it just goes to show you that right now this team has no offense and something's going to have to be shooken up this week. You know, either you, you fire Scott Turner and you get someone else in there who can call plays. Um, you sit the entire offensive line down and you just bring in everybody. I don't know, bring the, the practice squad people up, see what they can do at this point. Because the offensive line is terrible. Every single one of them, terrible. Just horrible. Um, and it's going to continue to be that way. If you have no offensive line, your team is going to struggle. We saw this way back when Steve Spurrier was here. Right? You know, Steve Spurrier is an offensive genius, is what a lot of people felt. But guess what? He didn't really do too much on the offensive line, and that's part of the reason why he failed in the NFL. Rob Rivera didn't do any wonders for this offensive line, and it's showing. And it, it's really hurting this team quite a bit. Um, yeah, this team, 1-3. Um you can talk about all of, like, this is a long season ahead of us. We got 17 games. We've only played four of them. You know, we got 13 more games to go. Right? 13 more games to go. Um, but guess what? This team has sunk. It's sunk at this point. Um. I honestly don't think this team is going to be able to even win seven games this year. Now, you can say things are going to be different once Chase Young is back in there, and then once we get Brian Robinson back next week. We may get a little bit more of an offense, but guess what? Without an offensive line, it's not going to matter. Um, with a secondary that um, has played better, but still will give up the big plays, and they, I think at I think at one point you just you just realize they can only do so much. They can't they can't hold this this team together uh, with no offense supporting them. So um, 
this team, it's going to be a long season, folks. Um, I don't know how Ron Rivera um, survives this season. Uh, if he does, then it just goes to show you that um, there's no other coach that wants to come to Washington. But, um, uh, you know, if Ron Rivera is here next season, he had better make some changes, some wholesale changes, because he, he's got some talent on the offense, and he's got some talent on the defense, uh, but it's not enough. He's not making good decisions as a coach. Um, the whole team is struggling. I don't know what he can do to bring this team up, but it's not working. And when it's not working, then you, you're you failing as a head coach. And I love Ron Rivera, but he's failing as a head coach. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, we'll, I'm sure we'll be talking about this more throughout this week. But, um, you know, if you like this video, then like it. Share it with, with your buddies. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel if you possibly can. I would appreciate your subscriptions. I'd appreciate your support. Um, there's other ways to support me by doing this. Can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me